morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lee from Magnetic North Magnet Fishing and today I'm going to be walking along the river down in Sheffield having a look at the areas that were previously highly flooded. We have got more rain due over the next seven days after today so I want to try and do a bit of a mudlark litter pick before the stuff gets washed away again. So I am at the side of the river now and uh, I can see that the water levels have gone down quite a bit. So we'll see what we can do. Um, today is going to be a mix of photos and video footage all put together um, just because some of the areas are very high noise. So it could be photos with uh, a transcript over the top in them areas. Hope everyone's well and uh, let's get on with it. So this area here was underwater. You can see from all the silt and devastation and things at the side just how, how bad it is or was. So this is gonna take a lot of time and all this was running with water. It's still quite fast. And just where I'm standing is all silt so there's been at least six foot of build up and as you can see it just slides somebody has already been so I don't know if we're gonna find much so yeah straight away there's a bottle stopper in a bit of a bottle, I always take them. Just down here, there's a rim shard, 18th century. There's a um, large piece here. Massive lump of roof lead, that'll go for recycling. There's a bit of a, a copper torch there so as we go along in this area um, just scanning the ground seeing what's there I have got gloves on today and just there just down there there's a lovely bone knife handle Nicely decorated bone handle. That's going to be 1780 through to 1900. And uh, just down here, it's a lovely shard, blue and white ware with some building pillars on, and another piece there. As we look in the debris field, you can see there's more all over here. Bit of a, a marmalade jar there. So there is a lot of glass down here as well. So that's going to be picked up very soon. I'm just going to do a quick walk around first. Fragment of a crucible furnace smelt pot. So, a bit of pottery there, number five. There's another piece down here. 
bit of a teapot 1900s early 1900s bottle whip from an old bottle it's going to be 1880s 1900 and just here we've got a bit of crushed brass so as we move underneath um, the bridge where the water was you can see there's more items so just here another part of a newer bottle stopper 1950s 1960s so I'll put my bag down there so it's easier to put bits in and just here there's a, a bit of fossilised wood, prehistoric. You really do have to get your eye in, because you just never know what's where. Um, there's always going to be bits and pieces. Just over here, this part of the lock there. That will be in brass. There's another piece of lead glazed pottery. That's pre 1900. Just down here. It's part of a stainless steel piece. It, probably part of a machine at some point. And uh, just down here, there's an old shoe sole it's nice that's going to be Victorian 1880 1900 and uh, as we go along this debris field got this vape there's a lot of these in the waters now that will go as trash it's still very very wet but you can see all this strewn wood um, acting as driftwood some people will use this as sculptures as well so I'm just having a look a little bit further and uh, we've got a couple of cans here one there one there they're going with me so it's created this little mud flat so I'm not sure if that's actually stable but I'm going to try and there is an access point over there so I'll go back and have a look at that in a bit and uh, just down here small hubcap that, even though it's damaged still going back with me I'm just scanning all the way around here. And just down here, I've just spotted fragment to see a clay pipe stem. So these at the time was the early form of tobacco. Um, smoking and uh, these generally date pre-1930 but they make excellent beads and bracelets and necklaces and uh, just there can't see very well let me come into the light a bit just there we've got a very old fish vertebra so it's quite an interesting bit so just down here we've got a, a large crayfish it is still alive so I'm going to return that to the water um, it does have a right to live so go carefully go down to the water and put him back in 
if um, it doesn't survive then it will at least be food for anything living in that water so this level here um, this is where all the water was and as you can see all that is crushed so all the water was all the way up there um, you've got snap trees and things down there there is a lot of waste so it's it's going to take a lot of effort to sort this out and there's a a toy pew pew there that will get removed so over there we've got the heron we just caught a fish just add that so he's had his breakfast or dinner and as you can see now the island's starting to come back there is a lot of devastation there is a lot of flooding still on that island but this water is starting to become a bit more calmer there goes the heron there he goes around there so you can see the water level has dropped an awful lot and uh, there's the island it's still very fast it's still very powerful but now we can see the actual island and the other day that was all underwater you still would not want to be in that water it's very fast there's very many rocks down there and as you can see from the debris that's been pushed up onto the island so that is one of the treasure islands starting to come back but as I say there is more rain for the next seven days after today so as you can see we do actually have some of the island back the water is very high very fast and there is a lot of rocks under there and uh, it is starting to reveal a tiny bit of island covered in debris on the mud flat so we'll do a bit here go from there um, it is going to be very very poor weather again soon so I'll pick up what I can and uh, basically come back again after the flood waters start to recede again so just looking around and uh, I've just seen in the water down there there is another bit of clay pipe There's more stuff out there, but I can't get to it. Um, I'm just seeing down here. There's a bit of copper wire. So my method today, I've got this bag and I'm going to put waste into that as I go along and go from there. So just down here, just here. There's a, a piece of early decorated tile, mustard yellow and brown. That's going to date from the 1700s. And uh, bits of wood and things. So I'll see what I can do about doing a, a bit better clean up in this area. I'm just watching the water and it is still rippling in to the side where I am so I have to make sure that I am safe at all times it's a tiny piece of blown white pottery there and 
as you can see there's quite a lot of glass washing up so this is all this area here is to strewn with litter it's going to be a very very big effort to sort this area I think what I might be better doing is just actually picking up what I can and then do a photo at the end of some of the items recovered. So this is all material that's just been gathered in a small spot and there's lots of metal, bits of plastic in there, bits of wire. So all that will be going back that will be sorted and graded into scrap and recyclable and uh, there's just stuff all over here and that bit of wood I'll show you that in a minute so I've come across this stainless scrap lots and lots of wire and that is really really bad for the environment so again that has to be bagged up and go so just here We've got a large early timber from the 16th century and that will be from the mill that was way back there. So English oak, what a beautiful piece. That is going to be preserved. So I've got this tiny bit here as well that I can do. Now, even though being very careful the uh, steps that went down here are that covered in silt I just had a fall I'm okay because I luckily I landed into that bit of bracken and there's where I slipped just there wasn't very pleasant but I'm okay I'm going to clear a bit more debris from down here see what there is and uh We'll go from there. I've got a bag full already of uh, general waste. So we'll see what else we get. As you can see from the litter and the debris, there's been a lot of flood down here. This wall has collapsed a bit further. Just there. You can see where it's starting to rip that bit of wall away and the strong currents that's going around that area. So previously, that island there was the edge of the river and it now comes all the way across here. So here we are, lots more general waste. So badly battered area. This is a good 12, 15 foot up. And the water did come all the way up here and uh, you can see the line of where the water was just along there but again there's a lot of debris in there bits hanging in the trees whole trees had to be cut they had also come back down the water Massive trees here, uprooted. And as we get around here, you can see the debris everywhere up here. The path is somewhat cleaner, so somebody's been doing some work up here already. But again, you can see the debris, and that is all the way down and that water there currently is three and a half foot deep plus the 15 foot that it's come up here and again there is the line of where all the wet bricks were just there you can start to see a bit of the island again So lots and lots of debris and just over here you can see whole bits of land that's been uprooted 
Look at all the debris in the trees. All the way up. And still very, very muddy down here. Well folks, there was a lot, a lot of debris down there. And uh, I've just managed to recover three large carrier bags full. Mixed plastics, metals, bits of glass, tile, all sorts of random rubbish. Uh, some general debris as well of just river wash stuff that could cause obstructions. So, uh, quite tired, so I'm going to go home and uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I do welcome everybody that's joined me and uh, recently subscribed. Thank you very much. Uh, the channel wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for all of you. So, uh, I do appreciate each and every one of you. But for now, this is Lee at Magnetic North Magnet Fishing signing out and uh, I'll get back to you very very soon with some of the finds that were found. Bye for now.